Welcome to GCSE Dance. So the course um, is evolved over three years. The first year in year nine, they basically get to grips with the basics of performance, choreography and theory work. In year 10, we then refine, consolidate and build on new skills. And then in year 11, uh, it's concentrated on examination work for assessment. So if we have a look at each of the components together and what they involve, um, we've got some pieces of video to show you, a link to all of this. So within performance and choreography, what's assessed? So we, in terms of the performance side of it, the performance takes 30% in total. The first part of that are um, set phrases, and they are within that 30%, 10%. And you have two set phrases set by the exam board. There are four in total, but the students only cover two. They're performed as solos and are approximately 30 seconds duration each. And that, um, they will be given solos to do with amongst the three years, but their actual assessment is completed in September of year 11. Then we move on to the duo trio performance, 20%. Um, this, um, we look at, obviously, it's the second part of the performance criteria. So it's a duo trio performance created by the teacher and the class as a whole, and basically lasts three minutes. And again, it's completed in the latter part of year 11. So the other part of component one, performance and choreography, is choreography and the choreography itself takes on 30 percent so it is basically a solo or a group piece of choreography um, a solo is performed for two to two and a half minutes or if chosen a group then it's two to five dancers and three to three and a half minutes in duration within all of these um, and obviously just to say there work begins in october in year 11 for this one um, throughout the whole of the course, students will do performances, choreography, so it builds them. So they're building on skills from year 9, 10 and 11, so that when they do it in year 11, they're fully confident. And the other thing to say about that, in case there are any students who are a bit nervous about performing... They have to do the performance, but what can happen with the choreography, another student can perform in their choreography for them. So um, that's just more so if there's a student who's nervous. Um, the other thing I would also say is that any student who is nervous about performing in front of a class, all assessments, um, whether they're actual GCSEs or lead-ups to sort of internal assessments, they will be performed just in front of the member of staff and videoed so it won't be in front of the rest of the class so just in case anybody's worried about that component two um, is dance appreciation and that is 40 percent now they gain a knowledge and understanding of how to choreograph and perform and obviously that's collated through the whole of the year and um, the three years Critical appreciation of their own work, so they have to be able to write down about what they did in their choreography, what skills they learned in their performances. And then the last part of the assessment um, is a critical appreciation of professional dance works. And there are six exam um, pieces of work that we have to study, and they are for things like costume, set, our all setting, so the music, lighting, um, learn movement material from the dance work. And we do all of this um, within lessons. So whatever they have to do theoretically, we try and incorporate into the practical lessons. And that assessment is actually undertaken at the end of year 11 under exam conditions. And it's a written exam, which is one and a half hours in length. And as you can see now, there is a dance anthology of all the works. You will see in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got the dance work. And then the top right of the two uh, pictures, you will see the dance styles that are covered in within those works in the anthology. So as you can see, there's quite a number of dance styles. It's quite broad. Obviously, our main aim for dance within the school curriculum is that we build for excellence and we tend to get high results um, year on year. We do things to build on this, so trips out to theatres to watch professional dance works. 
We also have professional dance companies brought into school to lead dance workshops that increase the experiences of dance performance and choreography. There are a number of dance clubs they can get involved in and we also put on extra dance rehearsals leading up to assessments. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you've got any questions and my email address is there for you to see. I hope you've got something from this and um, look forward to any questions if you have any.